Good morning. Morning. And uh, welcome again. First of all, I would like to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. I felt the love. Overwhelmed with uh, all the beautiful comments that you left. And uh, we had a brilliant day. Okay. Actually, we didn't do much. We just had a relaxing day and went out in the evening for a meal at Butcher's which is a fantastic restaurant. We had such a great meal and time there. If uh, any of you are around the Algarve, I would definitely recommend butchers in Helmansil. You won't be disappointed. Now, now. the plan for today. Right, let's what you got it. to say? Well, not a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, so our plans today, are uh, we're going to build uh, an island in here it's going to come off this wall down sort of level with there a seating area with the cupboard space underneath um not a lot really to say about that apart from building an island we're going to use this wood that uh, james acquired somewhere so today you oh hang on a minute that makes it sound like i stole it i didn't acquire it from somewhere i uh, i got it off a skip <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true, somewhere. Uh, so James has a chance to show his uh, wood skills. Uh oh I can't wait to see. Very excited about this, actually. So we're going to use this wood, and as James said, just make uh, uh, an island to give us some cupboard space and sitting area so I can sit and watch James while he's cooking the barbecue. Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Uh, so that's it. Today, we have plans for that area there, but they'll be for another video. Also, we not quite sure what we're going to do with this barbecue. We're not very keen on the colour of those these bricks, are we? No. So we had lots of ideas, paint it or render it or just do the pointing and leave it. Uh, I'm not sure. If you guys have any ideas, drop us a comment and uh, we'll put our heads together and see what we come up with. Yeah, just to give a vague idea of what I had in mind was I was thinking about rendering from the top down to about here and then maybe painting these bricks here. Mm. Maybe, or just render it, or maybe just leave it, or maybe just, yeah. I don't know. I think once <coughs> this is done around here, maybe we'll have a different view on it. Yeah, we're looking at it all scraggy at the moment, so it may just be a matter of pointing it and just. Yeah. We'll see. Anyway, that's for another another day. But yeah, if anybody's got any ideas what to do with that, preferably not knock it down <laughs> because that's not an idea. <laughs> I think I've had a comment like, about that. Why are you wasting your time? Just knock it down. No, I think that's going to stay. Uh, yeah, that's not going to uh, Yeah, that's not an option, knocking it down. This side, we will come to that another day. And uh, we've got great plans for that as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's crack on. Yeah, you know what? That would make quite a good like breakfast bar. Well, no. yeah, but facing the wall. Yeah, yeah. All right, just put a... 120 inch TV on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so you'd be like this, <laughs> yeah. watching it. Yeah. Now, now that is a cupboard for our coal and. 120 inch, that's like 10 foot. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe not that big. Maybe not that, maybe yeah. not that big. But uh, no, we're leaving that for now. Uh, maybe next video we'll move on to that side of things. Yes, well, you never know, we might squeeze something in this video. But uh, yeah, so, the plans are great. I'm, I'm excited and uh, I think you'll like what, uh, what we've got in mind. Um, yeah, it's, it's cool. Good. Right, let's get on. Let's get on. So now you cut it to size. Huh? Now you cut it to size. Um, now what? <laughs> 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 uh, yes, what we need to do is 
we need to decide where we're going to put it get them level on the bottom yeah so it matches the floor then we'll laser level the top and get some uh, uh, the height at 92 yeah. mark them cut them and then finished okay let's get on easy day what we did <laughs> mark the 92 yeah there's your pencil. There's your there's your uh, tape measure. Uh, one is spirit level. Spirit level. Okay, so we've what we've done is we've used the laser level. We put these in place, got them level on the floor, and then put a laser across the top to get the cutting point here. Christine is now going to sand them down, and then we'll do a little bit more cutting. To we're well, basically building like a table, I guess. Is, is the concept of what we're doing. Yeah. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Right, so this morning uh, we've been woken up with this. We're just on our way to the vet to check if they're chipped and uh, see how to take these from now on. Hello, you two. Are you going to find your owners? Yes, we're going to find your owners. So we found these uh, two dogs. Uh, so we're now at the vet's just checking that they're chipped. So hopefully the arm will be able to find the... Uh, uh, find their home, but they're adorable. They're very well behaved. Yes, you're very well behaved. So we got good news. Uh, we found the owner of the puppies or dogs. Uh, just waiting for them to come and pick them up. Yeah. Oh. Yada, the dome. Oh. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Ah, thank you. Okay, I'll, oh I'll take one. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That is Yara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That is Jackie. Go back home, Jackie. Go back home, baby. Oh, you must go like this. Happy ending. Yeah. Bye bye, baby. Your mother is there. Oh, they have the mother. Oh. Okay, Monica. <laughs> Thank you. See Lovely you. to meet you. Thank you. All Thank the best. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day. Thank ciao, you. ciao. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So, yes. End of a. Uh, Successful, uh, successful story. I'm all emotional and I don't even know why. <laughs> right. So Christina has sanded these down. We actually quite like the look of those. What do you think? Yeah, I like that finish. Maybe we just need to put some varnish to seal it. So it keeps whatever bits. Yeah, just... polyurethane or something. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, pretty cool. stage one. <laughs> and if we stick the old uh, level on it, as you can see, it's spot on. That one's spot on. Okay. Of course, they're spot on. That one's spot on. Okay, so what we did was. Uh, we've been fiddling around a little bit because we want to, um, uh, what do we want to do? Explain yourself? I can't well, remember. the floor is not level. That is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so 
the floor is coming away so we obviously need the the top to be level so we've adjusted the legs while we're making these legs we're we're adjusting them to the height of the floor uh, from that end so to the, this end the back legs basically a bit shorter the back legs are shorter than the front legs mm. but it would give us a level so it was easier to do that now rather than fiddle around once it's, yeah. once it's uh, done but uh, I, I really like this color yeah I, I quite like the look of that once we put a coat of something on it that would be beautiful right now we're going to make the um the frame, the frame. can i cut up there yeah here? let's do that cool let's do that let's do that should we do that let's go and do it let's do that yeah yeah okay. should we have a cup of tea let's have a cup of tea, a cup of tea first <laughs> all right cup of tea and a biscuit <laughs> and then we'll do it <laughs> all right so i've drilled through here uh, into the frame um, which is a bit of a pain in the backside but it's not not a major problem because um, I can refill this and these will eventually be painted or they might not even be here we might even take it all out uh, the door I'm not too worried about but I managed to get in the room so yeah I've, I've mullered it all and this is all sort of broken Linda the tea bags aren't in the room. What? They're not in the room. No. <laughs> After all that, I've just mullered the door and the tea bags aren't in there. <laughs> what the? Oh, you're joking me! <laughs> you're j <laughs> <laughs> just where they are, though. What would you go say for yourself? Me. Well, I, I haven't had well, cup, is, I haven't this, had a cup of tea for days. Look, this is the tea cupboard. Tea, coffee, also. <laughs> yes. I thought they were in that What is that? What's happened? What did you put it? You have a cup of tea for three days. Perfect. Simple. Seven. I've got a little tip. Go on. So when you're cutting with a jigsaw, yeah. if you put your thumb, when you line it up and you put your thumb, you can run the jigsaw along your thumb. So you go like that and then you just, and it gives you the straight line. Helps, helps you. Mm, a guide. Guide. Yeah, so, so your thumb is the guide. Your thumb is the guide. Don't chop your fingers off her. Another tip, <laughs> don't wear <coughs> very focals when you're cutting stuff, because everything looks bananaed. <laughs> Do you want me to get you the other glass? Is that right, Linda? Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> everything looks bananaed. I mean, that looks like it's doing that. <laughs> I've got another tip. 
<laughs> Don't waste your time with these. They're rubbish. Get yourself a speed square. Much better. If anyone's got one of, if anyone's got one of these, they're fantastic. <laughs> but don't use it. Huh? Use it. It's yeah. fantastic. Don't take any notes of what I say. But a squeeze, a speed square. A squeeze spare. A squeeze spare is much better. You having fun? Huh? Hello. You having fun? Not anymore. <laughs> sick of it. Yeah. Huh? I'm sick of it too. Uh, yeah, so this bit's done. This bit's down. Just got to put some more on that wall there. Oh, is this it? Huh? Otherwise, spread that nicely, and it looks like maybe because it's not dry. It's yet. just the wet line. Yeah. It's really taken uh, a long time of working on this, and uh, it really is becoming tedious. <laughs> really. Really just doesn't feel like it's ever ending. But it looks okay. The sky's nice. And all we've got to do now is the front, uh, which is partly done, the base coat's on. Uh, just a little bit of touch up and that will be done so the next time you see this outside of this house it will be painted so uh yeah looking forward to that it's a big change. new day can't be bothered sunday morning <laughs> we need to have a coffee to get the swing of things yeah seem to be struggling to kickstart ourselves this morning oh um last night one of our cats uh was adopted. Was adopted, so uh, Gorgeous left us, which is quite sad because I like Gorgeous. But he's gone to a new home, so we're happy about that. And then there were two. Now there's two. Yeah. Mm. Still got the problem with the dogs. Anyway, right. New day, new, new start. Okay, so... This is where we went. So we now built uh, a frame. We've just got to put some... Uh, support supports just to stabilize it all something down here we've got some plans for today and um yeah that's it yeah we're gonna start burning burning stuff okay we, we're, we're doing this just to give it a bit of color really and then we'll polyurethane it all down and... okay so what are you doing now james uh, I'm just putting in the corner braces in just to stop any wibbly wobbly. Hopefully. Just keeps. Stops that movement. Now, this isn't fine carpentry, it's a rustic table. Or whatever it is, it's uh, but it would be beautiful. I know. Well, it would be all right. Put it this way: the roof will fall down before the table falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> Done 
don't want any wibbly wobbling. So we're trying to cut a tough steak <laughs> that I've cooked on a barbecue. We don't need any vibration in the worktop, making it even harder. <laughs> to stabilize and what are you doing next so now you're going to do it around the bottom yes we're going to put uh, uh, some braces around the bottom of these just to keep the legs in the right place and also help us with what we're going to do on the outside on the outside cool Okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so we just come in from the working no, in the no. other house, and we got a flood. We take that. We got something flooding. Oh, uh, yep. Here we go. It's in the wall, hun. Yeah. This is all. Oh, fortunately. The pipe is right there. Can you turn the water off? Uh, this is not looking good. Not good. It's running all the way down the corridor. Right, what's the situation? Is it running? Yeah, not as much. Oh, no, no. Bloody hell. Yeah, but it was running more. Put that in the shower, that's okay, but no. The perils of uh, having a uh, old house. Put that in the sink, darling. Huh? Put it in the sink. For now. Oh. Have you got anything to, to, to... Anything to say? No. <laughs> no, have you got anything to fix it? Uh, no. Uh, the problem is that pipe is rusty as hell, which means all the pipe is rusty. Uh, and because we don't know what the plumbing situation in this house is. So, the only thing we can do is make it into a wet room. <laughs> oh well. Well, at least it's while we are here. It's not a problem. It was a problem. But not a problem we can't yeah. fix. Tomorrow's yeah. another day. Stay tuned. Spaghetti. Hello. What are you doing? Um, right. Brushing this palette. And what? Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> what is the reason behind all this? Because I don't like all the wood together. So we need to break it up. Okay. So Christina has painted these, uh, given these a whitewash. We were contemplating, to my madam, thank you. <laughs> Any more? Um, okay, what we were thinking about doing was originally painting these legs cream and making them a little bit rustic like we did on a, a previous table we made. Um, and then we decided that we're gonna, because we're putting pallet wood in the front here. And so what we've done, because we quite like the, the look of the, the wood there, so Christina has whitewashed these uh, bits of pallet wood. No. Okay, so James now is fitting the front panel. Here we go. Can you believe? Mm -hmm. Hey, stop it, can't we? Can you believe we 
didn't have to cut any of those <laughs> apart from the tops. I can't believe that worked out like that. Oh boy. I feel like I'm in a western. <laughs> yeah. The cowboy building. Okay, um, I was using the miter saw in a strange way because for some reason my locking device is, something's wrong with it, so I haven't really got time to fix that. So I came up with a different solution using the speed square in Christina. So the plan is we're gonna miter the front of Chris here, down there, down there, and then we'll fill in these Glue all together, sand them down, do something, be happy. Yeah? Yeah. That's the idea. Good. Or it's on cat duty. Okay, so we have a quite a few of these long old beams. That one's probably rotten. Well, it is rotten. But these are all very good, and I got these from... Uh, somebody who's chucking them away and she kind of gave them to me so uh, that was the result so now what we're doing is just trying to sand these down scribe them into the back wall and then we'll be fitting them in but it's a little bit of a slow process now Christine is uh, doing a wonderful job. Right, a new day. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new start. But I'm feeling good. Right, what are you doing? Well, we're finishing the top of this. Uh, we've got a bit of a rainy day, so <clears throat> unfortunately, we can't go to the village house and carry on with the rendering, or fortunately we can't continue with the rendering, <laughs> which is the way you look at it. Uh, so we're gonna carry on with this, our island. We're almost there, so um, shouldn't take us too long. Yeah. Anything you wanna say? No, just let's crack on. What, no pearls of wisdom? <laughs> Nada. I'm really excited to have it finished, <laughs> to just see it done. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's where we should leave it. Let's do it. Right, okay. Good. So, the top is almost ready for us to start assembling. Uh, yeah. What are you doing, Linda? I'm feeling like you may say no more. Okay. I'm excited to see the next stage. Good, good, good. Okay, <clears throat> so what I've done is I've uh, cut some mitres to match. I'm going to take these four boards out. Fit this end piece right here, fit this end piece in. Hopefully it will mitre up beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we'll measure from wall to here, cut this line here, secure it all, and then we're done. Yeah. Well, kind of done. Kind of done. Then it's just finishing touches. And it's just a few finishing touches. A bit more sanding and... Uh, it should look beautiful, but it's looking fab. Oh, I've got to put something here to do something. Anyway, right, let's uh, let's do that, shall we? Anything else to add? No, let's do it. Just quickly, while I got the top off, I reinforced it even more because we don't want it to fall apart. So I've just, as I said earlier. Braced it here, braced it here, braced it across there to stop any movement in and out. Just basically a basic tabling 
a basic table construction, but possibly just a little bit over the top. <laughs> but it's better to be over the top than have it fall apart as soon as you uh, sit at it. So hopefully that will be good. So this is the last look before I put the M1 on. I'm gonna mitre that in now, fingers crossed because I am struggling with my mitre saw at the moment. As I said earlier, it's uh, it's not turning on to uh, the angles I want due to some mechanism problem somewhere. Just yet, we'll do it when it's all together. That might is good. And by the time we screw this down and we pull this over and we jiggle it and juggle it, there you go. That might is good as well. Just a little bit sanding. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to glue that up and. Uh... Well done. <laughs> Look at the thorns. <laughs> Look at the thorns. Look at the thorns. <laughs> Let's do it. What was that? Let's do the what? Do the thorns. Happy thorns. Happy thorns. <laughs> Right, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> it's an happy dance. A little bit of glue. So what are you doing, James Crossan? Oh. oh, oh my God. Making a mess by the looks of it. I'm uh, applying glue with my glue application tool. <laughs> and you've got a spatula. A right. glue spatula. Oh, yeah. I have got some. Yeah. But they're in my toolbox. In your toolbox? Yeah. You've got a toolbox? Yeah. Oh, beauty. <laughs> All in there. Never have enough glue. Yeah, well, it squishes all out. Squishes out. Sand it. Seal it. What's going on in there? Oh, my days. Quite nice in the cake. Oh, you should have let me do him, though. <laughs> What's wrong with my cake making? You eat them. Well, they might not be pretty. I only eat them because I love you. It's <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with your sweet teeth. No, I do love a cake. But not my cake. But your cake's awful. No disrespect, of course, Linda. Oh my goodness. Oh, you, you know should... they're awful. You admit they're awful. They're like. But they taste nice. They're just awful to look at. No, they're not even awful to look at. They're just dry. Well, are you talking about the sweet potato cake? You just like sugar. I'm trying to make healthy cakes. Yeah. Huh? Sweet potato cake? Yeah. Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. Why are you making such a big mess with that? Don't worry, it dries clear. Yeah. Don't you worry about that. Trickle. Trickle. <laughs> Right, sludge, bit that way, bit that way, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, sludge it in, right in, actually, actually. You need to put it on these sense as well. Put a bit more on. One extra sludge. Look at this glue, it's rubbish. Mm. 
available for wedding cake decorating. <laughs> you better stick to your job, love. Okay. Try again. Get him in there. Split it in. Is that good? That's good. That's good. That's good. So now. I've got to sit like this for the next, I don't know, 30 minutes, waiting for it to dry. That sounds painful. Yeah. Uh, don't you have some... Uh... Huh? I've got one. I don't know the name of them. Uh, well, you mean clamps is what you were just going to say, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I don't. Well, I do have clamps, but nothing that will clamp that together. Not big enough. Well, yeah. yeah. It'd have to come like this way and that way. Yeah, then no, I can't clamp it. We're going on a wing and a prayer. And hopefully, hopefully. It doesn't take long to go off, actually. It will, uh, it will key in very quickly. But I do need to wash this off. Well, I'm sure there's some water in the bucket. A little bit of a clean, clean. There we go. Just get the ex excess off here. So that when you come to sand in it, or oil in it, you don't have that stain. Mm. Where the glue was. Yeah. But let's look at that. No. A little bit of sand in there because that's well, that looks pretty damn good. Very nice. Well mm. done. Very nice here. Yeah? Right, <clears throat> so what we can do while we're waiting for that to dry, we'll cut these in. We won't put them in just yet, we'll give this yeah. 30 minutes or so before we start messing around with it. Cool. Good. Cup of tea? Cup of tea. Now that we've found the tea bags? <laughs> well, I found the tea bags the other day, but. Come on. <laughs> There's another story. Yeah. Okay, Linda, what are you going to say? It's done. It's done. Very, very happy. Uh, do you want to show them? Yeah. Right, here we go. Uh, it's turned out really well. I think probably better than our expectations, considering we had no uh, plans as such. We kind of just winged it as we went along. But I actually think that looks fantastic. We've got some... Uh, we've got a linseed oil in it, we've got to plug these holes and there's a few screw holes that we need to fill and hide, but it's very minor work. Love it, love it. Uh, it's, I'm so, so happy with this and uh, how much did it cost us? How much did we spend? Uh, overall, roughly about 15 euros. We bought some screws. I uh, know we didn't buy screws, we had screws. Uh, we sandpaper, brackets, uh, yeah, and the cost of screws, roughly about 15 euros. The, the lower part uh, I got from the skip, the top part, um, uh, we, we um, were given these by a nice young lady a few months back. And um, so that's been repurposed and it looks, looks fantastic. I'm really happy with it. I'm um, um, just really enjoyed this project as well. So it was fun. It was quite easy, but now we need something here. Um, Maybe uh, some stools? Uh, uh, yes, definitely. We need to make some stools. Uh, we're going to make them. Uh, possibly we're going to make them. We've got to... We are going to make them. 
Oh, all right, we're going to make them. Okay, I've been, I've been told we're going to make them. <laughs> okay, we're making stools, so uh, watch out for that video. Yeah, so on that note... Yeah, good, excellent job, good effort this week. Yeah, that was great, yeah. well done you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, thanks for <laughs> subscribing, thanks for the thumbs up, thanks for all the wonderful comments. The comments are very nice, we do, we do make an effort of answering all the comments. So, um, if you've got anything to say, just leave us a message. Or comment, maybe. Or comment. Yeah. Message, comment, well, whatever the terminology is. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. That all helps. And uh, we shall see you... Next week. Next week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Ciao, Bye. ciao. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>